Captain Coder here, and in this guide, we will explore different options for preventing our player from clinging to walls in a 2D platformer. This guide is part of our 2D platformer project, and if you missed the previous videos, you can find a link to it in the description below, or you can hop right in using the provided Unity package. And if you would like to be notified when the next video is out, be sure to subscribe and click that notification bell. Before we hop in, I want to remind you that you can ask questions, share your projects, and join the Captain's crew on Discord or catch me live at CaptainCoder.Live, where I create fun projects like this, chat with the crew, and drink way too much bean water. Alright, let's hop in! Here we are, we are in our platformer. Our player slides with ease across our platform without getting stuck. We jump into the air without sending a ray past every frame, but we can cling to walls. If I'm holding the left movement key down, I get stuck on a wall. As soon as I let go, I will fall and I can do this. This is probably not the intention. You probably don't want a game that does this, but maybe you do. Maybe you're making a game about a spider guy traveling through the unity verse. You don't know, maybe, maybe, but what is happening here is that as we're holding this left arrow down, it is causing our player to be pushed into the wall, and this is creating friction between our player's box collider and our tile collider. There are many ways we could approach solving this problem. The solution we're going to use today is to use a physics material. You may have noticed on our rigid bodies and on our colliders, there's a space for a material. By default, it's set to none. It uses the default friction. We can change the amount of friction that is applied in different places on different colliders. In this case, we essentially have three options. We could add the frictionless material to our player. We could add it to our platforms, or we could add a new object that represents just our walls. Each one of these has pros and cons to doing it. What do you think those pros and cons are? Stop, take a moment, think about it, and then I'll see you on the other end for my solution. Now that you've thought about it, I'm gonna talk about what the different pros and cons are from my perspective. If we put it on our player, our player produces no friction, anything it collides with won't have friction, we could run into an issue where we slip along the ground. This will make it so that we don't cling to a wall, but it makes it so we slip on the ground. However, this is only the case if we actually perform an acceleration. If you recall, our player movement controller actually sets the velocity left and right rather than accelerating into that velocity. So we can actually add it to our player directly and we don't have to worry about the player slipping and sliding. If we add it to our platforms, anything that interacts with our platforms will slip and slide, not just our player. This can work as long as you control all of your different enemies and objects movement directly and not doing it through acceleration. The last option is to create a whole new object to represent your walls. This is another solid option. However, it requires you to add more complexity to your game scene. Today, I'm gonna to be adding it directly to my player because I know my player's left and right movement are not dictated by acceleration. To keep myself organized, I'm gonna create a new folder in my assets, specifically for my materials. I'm gonna create one called Physics Materials. And then within the Physics Material folder, I'm going to add my new frictionless material. If I right click, I come up to Create. I want to create a Physics Material 2D. Don't be fooled by the Physics Material option here. We actually want one from the 2D menu because we're working with 2D physics. I'm gonna select Physics Material 2D, and I'm gonna name this Frictionless, Frictionless Material. And we'll notice in the inspector here, there are two options, one for balanciness, which can be fun to play around with, and one for friction. We just set the friction to zero. We come back to our player, and you can add it to the rigid body or to the box collider directly. 
For my solution, I'm going to add it directly to my box collider. Finally, let's test it. The first thing I want to check is that moving left and right still feels exactly as it was, and it does. And then lastly, I want to check jumping into my wall. Sure enough, I can't cling to my wall. Awesome. Now it's your turn. Create a frictionless material, add it to your player, platform, or newly created wall type. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you found this guide useful. What did you ultimately decide to do to solve the wall clinging bug? Did you choose the simple route and add the material directly to your player? Or maybe you chose to keep it and make it a feature of your game. I'm clinging to my walls, dying to know. Leave a comment below, tell me what you did. And if you'd like to be notified when the next video is out, be sure to subscribe and click that notification bell. And as always, keep coding, keep growing, be the best you, you can be, and you are welcome back anytime. Bye bye